2020 Alfa Romeo Giulia Q4 sedan. And today we're gonna to demonstrate the highway assist function, which uh, keeps me centered in my lane and is adaptive cruise control um, on top of that. So the first thing that you gotta do when you're driving is you gotta be on a divided highway that's registered by the GPS. So we're on I-75 North right now and um, it's a registered highway and works with the software uh, for the system. Um, and once you get on the highway, it'll give you a message in the instrument cluster in the uh, TFT display in the center between the tachometer and speedometer that says highway assist ready. Press the start button to, to begin. So typically what you gotta do is, um, you wanna see this, so you basically press the the uh, button right here to start it. You press that right there, and then you basically will press the steering assist button right here. It'll say highway assist ready, set active cruise control. And then you just press the down to set the speed, and the car will automatically center you in the lane. Let's get down to a reasonable speed here. So now that we're driving, or at least the car is driving, it has these green halo effect things around the speedometer and the tachometer and shows a green steering wheel. If I were to, as long as you have at least two fingers on the steering wheel, then you're good to go, but if you remove one, typically you get, depending on the amount of pressure you have, you get a yellow steering wheel. So right now we have a yellow steering wheel and now it'll show yellow until you put your fingers back on it senses the electricity in your finger, so it knows that, that you're there. If you let go all together for more than seven seconds, then it will actually cancel, and it will chime at you. So that, is it beeped once to let you know, hey, you gotta put your hands on the steering wheel, and then it gave me about like a second and a half, and then it canceled it all together. Um, but once you're back in your lane and you're, and you're going along, you uh, basically just press the down arrow again, the down uh, toggle. You set your cruise, you can set your distance using the button up here, and then you're basically good to go. And um, it will never exceed the speed you set it at. I'm set at 76 miles an hour right now. And if this car that was in front of me was doing like 74, he moved over, now we're doing 76, and it'll go down and you know up hills it'll go down to 75 and down hills it'll go up to 77 until the engine braking kicks in and slows us back down to the set speed of 76. So it's pretty simple it's pretty easy to use and um, it shows me my speed limit with the traffic sign recognition in the instrument cluster so it's very easy to use um, and then you use the toggle here on your um, um, with your right hand on the windshield wiper stock and that will uh, toggle between your menus so you don't have to stay on the um, driving assistance display the entire time. But basically you can just have your hands kind of resting like this and as long as you have a you know, good amount of pressure from your fingers on the steering wheel, it'll self-center you in the lane, um, it will follow cars in front of you if they move over for a semi a little bit, they bias towards the left as you pass a semi, this car will bias towards the left side but only if you're following a car in front of you. So it works pretty well, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, makes it a much less stress-free, it's, it's a much more stress-free driving experience for long highway stints like this. We're doing, um, we're at you know 1,826 miles on this trip at 35 miles per gallon. And we've been driving here for about four hours straight. And it gives me a little message saying, uh, take a break, you've been driving for a while after three and a half hours of driving, and then every hour and a half after that, it will remind you again to, um, to take a break, and it will show you a little coffee symbol as well. So just kind of cool thing about the highway assist function on the 2020 Alfa Romeo Giulia. Also works with the 2020 uh, Stelvio, as well as the uh, Maserati Levante, Maserati Quattroporte, and Maserati Ghibli and you have to have the highway assist um, package with that. It's, uh, it's like the second TI driver assistance package. Um, and, and sometimes it can't see the line, so you've gotta be paying attention. It'll beep, and it'll reactivate almost instantaneously after it doesn't see a line, but 
if you're in a tight area or like a construction zone on a highway, you want to be extra alert because it could cancel at any time if it does not see a line. The radar can see cars that are 100 yards out, but it can really only see the lines maybe 100 feet out. So if once, you know, by the time you realize that the car may not see the lines, that's when it kicks off. So you gotta be kind of aware of that. But if it's a long journey, you have a long straightaway or gentle curves in the highway, and you're doing hundreds of miles in a day, uh, it works very, very well. So hope you guys enjoyed this quick little overview of the highway assist function, part of the TI driver assistance package on the 2020 Julia. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or comments, put them in the section below. All right, thanks.